Hello from the American Citizen Services Unit at the U.S. Embassy in Kingston, Jamaica. We've received many inquiries from U.S. citizens who are considering traveling to beautiful Jamaica. Before you plan your trip, the ACS team and I want to make sure you are aware of where to find valuable information and resources in regards to your travel. And if you've not done so already, we strongly encourage you to register with the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, better known as STEP through the Department of State so that you can get the latest travel guidance as well as safety and security information for your trip. Anytime you travel overseas, you can register online at step.state.gov. Current guidelines and requirements are changing frequently. And at this time, U.S. citizens are urged to reconsider international travel due to health and safety risks and COVID-related conditions. The current Department of State Travel Advisory for Jamaica can be found online at travel.state.gov. Please visit our website for additional information about COVID-19 in Jamaica. The Jamaican government requires all travelers, both residents and tourists alike, to apply and be approved for a travel authorization through the Jamaica Tourist Board prior to boarding their flight. Non-resident applications may be submitted any time within the seven-day period before the intended date of travel. The travel authorization requires applicants to acknowledge that they will bear the cost of compliance with COVID-19 protocols, which may include, but are not limited to, testing, transportation services, medical services, quarantine, isolation, and an extended stay. Airlines will check the validity of a traveler's Jamaican travel authorization prior to allowing anyone to board a flight to Jamaica. At this time, travelers ages 12 and up, regardless of vaccination status or nationality, are required to provide a negative COVID-19 molecular or antigen test performed by the accredited labs, and it has to be collected within three days of your travel date. Please note, that these requirements may change. Check the Jamaica Tourist Board and other official news sources frequently to confirm the requirements when it is time for you to travel. It is important to review your travel authorization and abide by the Jamaican Ministry of Health's quarantine guidelines while in Jamaica. Visitors staying at approved accommodations within the Brazilian corridor can freely enjoy the many comforts of their stay and visit approved COVID-19 protocol compliant attractions within the corridor. All this information and more can be found on the Visit Jamaica website. At this time, there are curfew and movement restrictions in place to prevent the spread of the virus. So please make sure you are familiar with what the most up-to-date curfew restrictions are. There are steep fines and penalties if you're found out and about after curfew or otherwise violating movement restrictions. When it comes time to conclude your trip and return to the U.S., please be aware that the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, requires proof of a negative COVID-19 test or documentation that you have recovered from COVID-19 for all air passengers arriving from a foreign country, including Jamaica. Travelers to the United States from Jamaica must comply with this CDC requirement regardless of your vaccination status. More information can be found on the CDC website. For travelers departing the island, Jamaica has adequate testing locations and capacity available to meet the demand. In addition, many of the resorts and hotels offer proof testing services on property. The U.S. Embassy in Kingston does not provide COVID testing. Visitors to Jamaica will be required to make their own arrangements for getting the required tests and results to comply with the U.S. entry requirements. If you or anyone in your party test positive for COVID-19, the Jamaican Ministry of Health and Wellness will make a determination of additional quarantine requirements. A positive test result for COVID-19 will likely impact your travel plans to the U.S., delaying your travel for up to two weeks. This protocol complies with CDC requirements for re-entry into the United States with no exceptions. The U.S. Embassy has no influence in this matter. Thank you for your attention. And remember, the Embassy will continue to use the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program and our website to disseminate additional information as it's confirmed. If you still have questions, please feel free to contact the American Citizen Services Unit 
at kingstonacs at state.gov.